shelter for people living in filthy conditions. That's the goal of one Houston City Council member who's pushing to keep landlords more accountable and to bring livable conditions to tenants. KPRC 2's Roseanne's Aragon live at City Hall to explain the apartment inspection reform. Roseanne? Yes, essentially this ordinance is meant to push landlords to make timely repairs for people's safety. We are here at City Hall. We spoke with a councilwoman who says it all started when she went door to door letting tenants know about their rights. Deplorable conditions. They don't deserve to live in this condition. But what else can they do? Council member Letitia Plummer saw door after door. I was devastated. Um, there was one woman that had her baby pin on top of a dresser because she said the rats are so large in her apartment. She obviously didn't want anything to happen to her child. Another woman had sewer running. Ida Smith knows. Smith was getting sick and was lucky to find elsewhere. I left because I couldn't deal with the mold. And I know they weren't going to fix it. That's mold. People are still intimidating folks. You don't have a decent place to live. Plummer is now pushing for air apartment inspection reform. This ordinance will mandate every single apartment owner that has more than three um, complaints against them to pay a $250 registration fee. If passed, that money would go towards recruiting and hiring more inspectors. Since 2020, 311 data shows more than 2,700 complaints related to unlivable conditions indoors at roughly 2,000 properties. Currently, the health department only has two, and it's impossible to chase 2,000 apartment owners. Where they live is how they thrive, and so if we do not respect those spaces and make sure that they're safe and habitable, then we, how do we expect our children to go to school? And now, if passed, the ordinance would also require certain landlords to do some training on compliance. Plummer says this ordinance is sustainable and would substantially change people's quality of life. For now, reporting live from City Hall, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Roseanne.